Now, I am a little bit excited. And I usually don't get excited about something that's coming from, oh, say Amazon, which is what's happening. But yesterday, after I did the upload and I was talking about soldering, well, we got a comment from, uh, from Tony. And he was mentioning that if you want to get of course, well, I can't remember exactly how it is. Maybe I'll drop it <laughs> down onto the bottom of the screen here and you can read it for yourself. But anyway, he was he was mentioning that a, a good soldering iron that he uses for, for micro-soldering is, uh, well, this one right here. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I ordered it. And all, all being well, it, it should be here uh, tomorrow. I don't know if we'll if it'll be here in time for tomorrow's episode, but if it is, we'll we'll take a look at it. And uh, also uh, this morning, I noticed we got a comment from uh, Nigel, and he was saying that he had done some uh, videos on how to solder, or something to that effect. And uh, so I've <laughs> I've spent a little bit of time watching his videos here because I literally just touched that corner. And this is where your flux plays a part. If you try and do it without flux, you'll never manage. And then I'm just going to touch that other corner. There you go. The solder has bridged the gap. And just to see how, how he does it. And uh, I, I did learn a couple of things. For instance, uh, I didn't know that you could buy buy solder, for instance, in, in little little beads instead of, uh, you know, on the the way you normally see it. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, just thought I'd pass that on to you in case there's somebody else that's, you know, interested. Anyway, uh, let's have another sip of coffee here and uh, get started. Now, what is one of the things that I say a lot probably to a fault. Besides, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Well, we won't say that yet. Well, it is this, that life is what happens to you while you're making other plans. Now, it had been my plan today to try and CA glue these little L-shaped brackets into those little grooves. But I was thinking that with this new soldering iron that's supposed to be coming, that might be just an ideal situation to, to wait for. Um, so I'm going to just take our manual here and just sort of look ahead a little bit and see if there's something else we could... Well, you know what? We can, we can uh, do something about this ladder. We can glue this ladder onto the side of that uh, turret. Yeah, let's uh, put the macro lens on and set up and do that. Now I don't think it matters which way this ladder goes, it, it appears to be the same either way. So we could just take it and just going to do a dry run here. Now you, you can see two little lines right here, one here and one and one right there. I, I think that that's supposed to indicate that the ladder is supposed to go either on top of or in between those lines. Okay, looking straight down on it, it probably means it's supposed to go on top of it. It's not going to really fit in between. Now, once again here, what do I use to, to glue this on? Do I maybe, maybe use the... Uh, I am going to be painting over top of it, you know, the... Uh, that this piece here will be the number, I think it's 22 gray. Um, the same as the, the hull and all the other, most of the other pieces. Um, yeah. Uh, see, if I, if I use CA Thin, <clears throat> excuse me, if I use CA Thin, uh, it, it will fill up in between the rungs and, and the definition won't be quite as good. Whereas if I use the clear coat and let it evaporate, it will act as glue. Not as strong, 
but it, it should be good enough. I'm noticing that there's a tiny little bit of damage there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I must have squeezed it too hard with a tweezer at some time. Um, that's pretty much in the right place. Okay, I do believe we have the ladder protruding at the over the top, or rather flush with the, with the top, because I don't want it sticking over the top. Although maybe on the real ship it did, but I think I think we got the distance there right. Now we're just going to take my little brush here, and I'm going to load it up, and try and drop the the uh, clear right on top of it. I, because if I, if I touch it with a brush, the ladder may, may stick. So here we go. I just want to just drop it on there. Please don't stick. Now, as I did uh, with, with other stuff, we're just going to sort of pull it on. I know you're thinking, oh, you're putting on too much, you're putting on, oh, I bumped it. Now, can we come up from the bottom and push it back up? I wonder, or maybe can I pull it with my brush now? Okay, I think we're back to normal. I don't know if we need any more or not. Oh, I bumped it again. Oh, come on, Ron. No, it's not 100% straight. There. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm looking more or less straight down on it. Okay, let's do the time lapse thing and see what happens. Starting now. I'm going to pause the uh, time lapse here because I think it's a good idea if I get the lid on my jar. Okay, now we'll resume. We'll resume. Okay, we're going to pause the uh, time lapse here again, and uh, what I'm going to use is the is the heat gun here. It's set to 160 degrees. I won't have it this close, but I'll have it about 3-4 inches. And we'll just see if we can't just finish this off. Okay, I don't know how long that was. Maybe a couple of minutes or so of the heat gun. And, uh, yeah. And the light is reflecting off it the way I'm looking at it right now, and it still looks like it's wet, but it, I don't see how it can be. Uh, and I yet I don't want to I don't want to test it yet to bump, you know like bump the ladder or anything because it it might not be dry, but I I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure that's the clear coat has turned into a very thin glue, and I don't think that's going to come off of there, at least unless I really bump it hard. So uh, anyway. Now for step 50 here, I think uh, one more thing we can do is we can try and get this piece glued onto the, I think it goes onto the back of the turret here. So uh, let's set up and I think probably having the turret sort of face down if you know what I mean and then we just sort of try and lay this onto it. I think that's the best way to go. Um, I haven't tried these things yet when, uh, you know, when I try to sound like or sound like I'm doing it for the first time, I actually am. So uh, there's sometimes there's a lot of hesitation and humming and hawing and maybe it'll work and maybe it won't. Well, it's because you're seeing it along with me for the first time. Now, I'm pretty sure that this open side right here is supposed to go down. Gotta get it twisted just right here. 
something like this. Now is it going to want to stay there? Not at that angle. It wants to fall, fall over. And I can see why it wants to fall over. It's because this. Well, maybe not. Let's just just try it again here, very very carefully here. Once again, I'm going to have to reposition it. Well, it almost wants to stay there by itself. I think maybe if we had a, a little bit of glue or something, or, or maybe if I was to tilt this whole thing back a little bit, sort of, yeah, see if I can just re-grab it and just sort of have it twisted like this a little bit more. Okay, the turret is tilted slightly back now. And it sits there all by itself. Now, if we take and put a little bit of CA just just around the... Just, if I could just, just drop it on the edge there somehow. Now I know there is, the, is, the, the other thing we could do is we could... whoops not that. We could take and put a little bit of CA on, on these uh, corners here and then and then drop this thing down again. You know, if I, if I got it once I should be able to get it again, right? I have to be so careful not to squash this. This is so unbelievably fragile. I think maybe that's the way to go. Maybe the, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe what we should do is just take it and uh, put put some CA in our little cup and then just sort of dip it in, if you know what I mean, and then drop it in, in place. Um, I think I can probably do that. Maybe if I, let's, let's do a dry run using tweezers because I don't want to be touching it with my fingers here. Maybe these ones right here, they're not going to hurt anything. Okay, so, whoops. I, I keep dropping these things because, as I've mentioned before, I'm, I'm afraid of uh, squeezing real hard, you know, because... Okay, now don't drop it. So you dip it like this, dip it like this, and then, oh, it's upside down. Always something. Okay, dip, dip, now. I think it would probably stay there because it would be wet, right? And it would have a tendency to want to stick all by itself. So I think we can do that. Let's stick the macro lens on and uh, see what happens. Well, I do have the macro lens on, but look at the time, and I haven't even done the final edit yet. So uh, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow morning now before we can uh, get this glue on here. Unless I work on it this evening a little bit. And if I do, I'll video it and I'll just stick it on the beginning of tomorrow's episode. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.